Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Lucy and in today's video we're going to be recreating Soph or Soph Does Life's Instagram makeup looks. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Ellie and in today's video we're going to be recreating Soph's Instagram makeup looks. Now for this video we have decided that we're going to pick one makeup look each and we're going to recreate this the best we can from everything including the base, lips, eyebrows and eyeshadow but before we get into this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below and hit the big red subscribe button and today's shout out goes to cora kilgannon i'm not sure how you pronounce your name but your comment will go on screen here thank you so much for your support and if you would like to be in with a chance of receiving a shout out then all you have to do is like this video subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment done when you've completed all of the steps and without further ado, let's get into this video. I've just been through Soph's Instagram and I've picked this look here. But yeah, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this because I don't ever really do bold makeup. I have no makeup on and everything like that, so I'm all ready to go. First thing I'm gonna go in with is this Primer. Now this is the Beam Dream Revolution Glow Illuminating Primer. Now I'm just going to take a bit of this and rub this all over my face. I really like this primer. It makes my base makeup look so shiny. So we're going to put a fair bit on because her look is very, very glowy. So it's actually quite hot and sunny today. So sorry if the light does change at all throughout this video, but the makeup look that I'd like to recreate, I've put the picture on screen here and it's also on my laptop. I think Soph is amazing at makeup. All of her looks are so, so good. And I watch all of her YouTube videos and I'm definitely not a makeup artist at all, or I've never really practiced loads of makeup, but Soph is amazing at it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to recreate this. I did actually watch her YouTube video where she did this look. So I'm kind of, but that was a while ago. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to start with, I think, the eyes actually, because they're quite bright and red, and I don't want to do all of the base and then have fallout from the eyeshadow. And I have actually got Soph's makeup palette here, which I'm going to be using for this look. The colours in it are amazing. I'm just putting my hair to the side, and I know Soph often uses the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, so I'm going to start off by using this just on my eyelids, just as a base. I've just come a little bit closer to the camera so you can see better, and I've put concealer on my eyes. I'm just looking at the photo, and the actual eyeshadow part goes up quite high, almost to her eyebrow, so I'm going to start off by doing that. I don't really ever do colourful makeup looks, so this is quite different for me. I've no idea how it's going to go, but I'm going to take the shade 21, which is like this, um, very hot pink or red kind of colour. I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelid and then kind of blend it out, sort of in a bit of a wing. Okay, so I've just finished rubbing my primer in and I think you can kind of see I'm a little bit more glowy than I was a second ago. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. Now I have the Stay Naked foundation from Urban Decay in shade 20NN. Now, this foundation is my absolute favourite. It gives such a good coverage and it's they have so many shades and it's such good quality and it lasts as well. And by the end of the day, it doesn't look cakey either. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all over my face. That's my foundation all blended out. As you can see, it really doesn't look cakey at all. I know this looks absolutely crazy right now, but just trust the process. So I'm now just going to add some of the orange onto my kind of more onto my lid and blend it out um just because i think from the photo she used like a red and an orange so i'm taking sweet and sour from the palette and now i need to do yellow on the inner corner so again i'm going to use so's palette and the color vitamin c and just take this on a little brush and just blend it in my inner corner this color is really pigmented and now we're going to go in with the concealer now i use this revolution conceal and define concealer in shade c1 and i'm just going to put this under my eyes and a little bit just where i need it and then i'm gonna blend this out now that's my foundation and concealer done i'm going to move on to powder now I just have this collection Sheer Loose Powder in shade 2 Translucent and I'm just going to go in with a fair bit of this just to make sure it's really nice and set. I've 
done this bit of the makeup, but I'm not going to lie, I feel like it was a bit too ambitious going for this look because I never really practiced makeup and I'm not the best at it and now I've got to somehow make this look like flames and I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Well, I did watch Sto's video and she used a cotton bud and micellar water to try and make flames so you kind of remove bits of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to try it. No idea how it's going to go, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I've got some micellar water on the cotton bud. I'm scared of messing this up. I feel like it's going to be really hard to do. I need to get the cotton bud and just wipe part of it away. I don't even... Oh! I was not expecting it to wipe that easily. I was just about to say I don't know if this is actually going to work. Okay. That went away a lot easier than I was expecting. That one actually doesn't look that bad. Now I've just got to do it all the way across. Okay, there's the second one. I'm not sure if it looks like flames, but it is working. I'm also going to go along this bit just to make sure this bit's straight as well. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with a mixture of my Benefit Hoola Leap Bronzer and my Naked Flush Palette. The next thing I'm going to move on to is blusher. Now, I, again, I'm going to be using a mix of my Dandelion Blusher from Benefit and the blusher in my Naked Flush Palette. So that's my blusher done. And now we're moving on to highlight. And once again, I'm going to be using a mix of my Benefit highlighter and my highlighter in my Naked Flush palette to try and get that really, really glowy look that Soph has. Okay, you know what? I don't think that's actually bad. I know it's not perfect, but for the first time in me ever doing kind of proper bright makeup like this, and I had no idea if this was going to work, but I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing on this eye and then come back and carry on with the rest of the look. That is my base all finished. Very glowy and a lot more makeup on than I would normally have, but I still do like it so far. But the next thing I need to do is my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using a mixture of my Gimme Brow and my Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which were both in shade three from Benefit. And trying to recreate Soph's brows by doing like the little fluffy start and then a bit darker towards the ends. So to do this, I'm thinking starting with my brow gel to get the front nice and a bit of colour in the rest of my brows. And then just filling in gaps towards the ends to make them a bit darker. <laughs> I feel like it looks kind of crazy, but I have finished the eyeshadow portion of this video. I think it does look quite similar to the photos. It was quite hard to get them looking even, and I think I've done a pretty good job for never doing anything like this before. So the next step is to add a big black eyeliner wing. So I'm just going to use this eyeliner here, which is from Ted Baker, and just kind of do my eyeliner fairly similar to normal. I've just done it along here, I don't know if you can see, and now I'm going to do the wing and try and I think keep it fairly in line with this flame here. So that's my brows done now, as you can see. And the next thing I'm moving on to is eyeshadow. Oh no, wait, I need to put fake freckles on. I just remembered. So I'm just going to try this and hopefully this works. Otherwise, I don't really know how else I'm going to do this. And just start drawing little dots all over my face. So I just went off camera and did my eyeliner and then used this Tropic lash extension kit to do my mascara it's basically a mascara and also some extension fibers two in one and i really like this and i think it's a really good mascara and now i finally get to move on to my base now i'm going to be moving on to foundation i don't usually bother with primer and i know in the past soaps used this maybelline new york superstay foundation a lot this is in the shade 05 light beige so i've just dotted a little bit of this around my face and now I'm just going to blend it in as I normally would. Okay, we've got some fake freckles now, so now we can actually move on to eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Naked Cherry palette, I think, because this is the one that has the most pinks in. And the first thing I'm going to do is go in with just this white shade at the end. Now, this is called Hotspot. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is go for a pink shade and just try and, like, get a resemblance of the actual curve if you can see that on my brush it's quite bright so i think that's probably the closest one so far so 
I've just finished my foundation and I feel like my face looks very, very pale. I don't know if I put more on the normal or what it is, but I'm now moving on to concealer. And again, using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer because I know Soph uses this a lot. I'm just going to put this on kind of as I normally would. I'm also going to be really careful under my eyes because I've got obviously eyeshadow under them. And I don't want to cover that up with this concealer. Next, I'm just going to go in with some of my collection pressed powder. So this is what we're dealing with now. I've packed a lot of bright pink eyeshadow onto my eyelids and I've got a makeup wipe in hope that I can try and make it like cut really smooth here and here and also try and take it down a little bit and then blend it out again because hers is like lighter towards the top whereas mine's just bright pink all over so i've now kind of cleaned them up a little bit and i'm just going to take this slightly smaller fluffy brush and blend them up a little bit higher now so i'm very excited to go in with the next step which is bronzer because right now i look so pale and i definitely need some more color into my face so i'm going to use this butter bronzer by physicians formula and i know that Soph uses this bronzer quite a lot. So I'm gonna make sure I put quite a lot of bronzer on because Soph is definitely more tan than me in the picture and she's got quite a lot of bronzer on her nose and forehead. Just taking my fluffy brush and just putting this kind of all over my face but then mainly in certain areas. So I've tried to blend it out a little bit, added a slightly lighter shade as well and just blended them all together, cleaned that up and this is what we're dealing with now. And the next thing I'm going to do is pack on a glittery shade. The only problem is I normally use this brush for nose contour and it's absolutely covered with red eyeshadow. So I'm going to try and clean this off unless I can find another one. But I definitely cannot use this one. Now I'm going to go in with some blusher and I'm just using this Primark one. And I love this colour. It's in the shade Amaretto. And in the picture it looks like so she's got a lot of blusher on her nose and then kind of like on this part of her cheeks. So I'm going to try and do that. I do love blushes, so I tend to put quite a lot on anyway. Okay, so we've got a glittery shadow packed on there as well now. And now it's time to remove the line. I'm honestly dreading this because I just feel like it's going to go really horribly. I don't even know how to do this. I've got this really tiny little flat angled brush. And I'm going to like pop the makeup wipe over the top of it maybe and hopefully this removes the line and it all goes lovely this is what we're dealing with now we've got two lines removed though which is a good start i guess it's not going too bad which i'm very surprised about to be entirely honest now of course for highlighter i'm going to use so's palette i love this palette so much i've actually got two of these because i used the first one up and i stick to these three colours, which I think in the past Sophie said she uses, so I'm just going to put it on as normal. She does quite a lot of highlighter, so I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to take this kind of big fluffy brush, just put it on my cheekbones. I don't know if you can see that highlighter, but it is amazing. Next thing I'm going to do is go under my eye with some of the Bing. Okay, the final thing I'm going to do with eyeshadow is put a sparkly shade in my inner corner. Okay, this is what the eyeshadow look looks like i definitely prefer this side to this side but i'm not a makeup artist but next i'm gonna go in with some mascara and then finish this look off with some lipstick as well so i just have the bad girl bang mascara from benefit i actually nearly forgot them i haven't done my brows yet but i'm gonna use some benefit products i know soph uses these as well so i've got the gimme brow and then the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I'm just going to start off with the Gimme Brow to kind of tin them a little bit. Then I'm going to use some Precisely My Brow Pencil kind of to line them a little bit, like underneath and on the top. I just sort of use a mixture of these two brow pencils. Okay, mascara's done. And now we move on to lips. So I'm now using this collection lip liner just to outline my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my lipstick. This is the collection lasting colour shade 25 lipstick. 
And finally, I'm gonna put a clear lip gloss over the top of all of that. So my brows are all done, and now we are finally moving on to the last step, which is lips. But for lips, so I've just got a fairly light pink colour on, and then I think some lip gloss, or they're definitely shiny. So I'm gonna go in my collection lip liner. I need a new one because this is almost run out, and just outline my lips with this. And then I'm gonna use some of my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick, which is pretty much the same colour as the lip liner just to kind of fill them in a bit. And I know that Soph's lips are definitely a lot lighter in the photo, so I've got this Lustra lipstick from Primark in the shade Barely There. And this is like a really light pink, so I'm gonna add some of this just to lighten it up a bit. And then I've got some Primark PS High Gloss. It's a shiny lip gloss, which I'm just gonna add over the top in the shade Pearl Drop. This is pretty much clear. Just a bit of a shine to it. So this is my finished makeup look. Now I really, really like this look to be fair. And it definitely takes a bit of time, but I think it actually looks kind of similar to the picture. Although my eyeshadow isn't quite as bright, I don't think. And my mascara does not stand out as much. To be fair, I think she might've put fake lashes on, but I don't ever wear fake lashes. And I don't think I actually own any. So mascara was the only option for me. I'm actually really pleased with this. I think it kind of resembles it. There'll be a picture again on screen of the look so you guys can kind of compare. Okay, and here is the finished makeup look. It's definitely been a process to get to this. I think that it's turned out really well in the end. It's definitely something very different to what I would normally do, but it's actually been really fun experimenting and playing with makeup. <laughs> I think the flames part, which is like the main part of this look, has actually turned out really well. I feel like it makes my eyes look so blue. Um, obviously my fringe kind of covers it. But I actually am very happy with how it's turned out in the end. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe to our channel. And as we said earlier, we would absolutely love to hit a thousand subscribers sometime soon because that is crazy. And we really do appreciate all of you and the support on our videos recently or the comments and everything is really, really nice. And we do love to see it. Please let us know if you like this video and whose makeup it looks you'd like to see us recreate next. It could be another YouTuber, it could be some kind of celebrity, it could be a professional makeup artist and we've got to try and recreate their makeup um, to the best we can. Obviously, me and Ellie don't do makeup looks like this that often, but we will definitely try our best and it'll definitely be a lot of fun. Also, go follow all of our Instagrams, which will be on screen somewhere and hopefully we will see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye.